Well, welcome back to part three of the Avanti. And this is part three is a carry on from the wings because we've now got to make ourselves a set of ailerons. And we've got a little bit of tricky cutting to do. Well, it's not tricky, but you just think about what it is you're doing. Let me show you what it is that we've got to cut out and then the process from onwards. Right, so basically, the green line, I hope you can see that. Basically, we've got to cut across there. We've got to cut across there. We've got to cut across there. And then just cut it through the bottom there and the bottom there. And you'll notice that what you're left with is this chamfered edge this side and then a flat edge this side. And what we're going to do is we are then going to be adding, it's like a cap strip, a vertical cap strip or a false trailing edge um, from... Right, I have removed the attachments between the main wing and this is what you're left with. So um, I very gently just held that right over the edge and made sure that those were sanded square and obviously took any little bits of nubbing across the top. Now, I've done exactly the same for the main wing as well and to clean those up. Um, there's a little step on R12 and B12. Don't panic and think to yourself, why well, have I got that? Because that's where your um, servo tray's gonna sit over there. So don't panic and think to yourself, well, what have I done there? I've made a mistake, it isn't. It just looks slightly weird where they've got like a bit of notching so that's the same now we need to add some sort of spar to this and in your kit you're going to see there's four of these it's pretty obvious they've only got one task and let me just show you on the uh, actual aileron so the idea is that's getting glued onto there like so now it's massive and it's going to need some um, planing down my advice is don't use Sino. Um, I think if you use Sino and some of it leaches out to the edges when you whip your plane down it um, you're going to end up taking a rib out. So I'm going to do mine in Alphatic, um, this type of stuff, either the laser cut glue kit bit or the, their standard one from Deluxe Models and, and that's how I'm going to do it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer it all up to the top edge like so as accurately as I can and I've got all this hanging down the bottom I mean I'll be honest with you I'm half tempted to cut half of it off now which would make the uh, finishing a lot lot easier in fact actually I think I am going to do that um, so I'm just gonna do that and then also for the it's exactly the same same piece of wood um, that's actually gonna go on to here like so and I think I might actually do exactly the same I think I might just mark up um, what I need and what I don't need and then um, it would just make life easier when I'm finishing it off but anyway that's not recommended in the plan that's just one of my top tips so I'm just going to get these jigged up um, I think for the aileron one I might actually just sit that down on the bench like that with a load of weights um, I mean, you, you could pin it if you want to, uh, but I'll see how I go. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might sit that down on the bench um, because that seems to fit quite well. Um, and also, if you're using Alphatic, you get a little bit of wiggle room as well. So um, I'll get back to you when I've finished these. Um, I might talk you through if I've had any issues with the, the planing because then we've got all the ancillary bits to add. Um, is your servo tray... Um, there's a, a horn cover to go on the ailerons and some infills around the, uh, the end of the wing to stop it's to help the covering not pull in so I'm going to crack on with these right that's the aileron with the um, front I don't know what we're calling this anyway the front front plate <laughs> And then this is now the trailing, the main spar or the, the main part of the wing. 
obviously it's overhanging the bench and I've gone full length and I realize why is because obviously this we're going to have to round slightly because of the um, curvature of the uh, rib um, and I've just got just enough underneath there so but on the trailing edge we've not got a real curve but on here obviously we've got a curve to deal with so that's why I've left mine slightly proud because then I'm going to run very gently the uh, planer along here at a specific angle I'm going to leave that now that's Alphatic I've used on there they're laser cut deluxe models laser cut glue kit glue uh, clean neat rapid construction for wooden laser cut kits well this is a wooden laser cut kit so anyway I'll be back shortly right do you know I was hang gliding yesterday in a t-shirt <laughs> today it's pelting down the rain outside and it's, <laughs> it's freezing relatively anyway so I have put that uh, trailing edge spa thing uh, on the back and I pinned those and I left those uh, overnight using the laser cut glue and also I've done the uh, back of the aileron as well um, I haven't cut them exactly to the size because I've left them slightly protruding by about one or two mil because if you left them particularly on the uh, wing aspect if you leave them short then obviously you've got to allow that's going to have a slight curve to it so now I'm um, just going to unpin it and the next thing I'm going to do is gently plane it to shape right top tip there um, I've added the servo plate now I've not glued it but I've added it in place just to give me a guide so that uh, when I come to trim this down it's going to be level because there's a slight notching effect, uh, going on here so there's a possibility you could actually make that uh, shorter than it should be so I've just put that in there really as a planing guide more than anything so I don't overdo that area um, I've not glued it because at the moment I don't want to have any glue that's affecting possibly where I'm going to that whole planing service but I've just, that's just dropped in there very nicely as a nice guide I've got the wing over the bench and I've got the board foam board just supporting it as much as possible in fact I've hung my uh, foam board just over the edge so that the the excess is actually hanging over to hold it in place now I've got a nice new blade in here and all I'm doing is I'm very very gently what I've done is I've just put my finger on here as a guide and I'm just taking my time and if you get any resistance stop right well I think that's gone very well that's gone better than I expected let's hope the bottom goes just as well right so I took my time that's gone really well the only thing I would say is be very careful I think personally if I was building this again I would actually put this on before I actually join the tip because I've ended up having to hold that over the end of the bench, bench to plane it because obviously this was in the way and I couldn't get it to lay flat but it's gone very well now we need to start um, thinking about adding our um, servo plates and also there's a plate to go in here um, for the horns right we have nearly finished the wing. Well, I've done the right side for the video. I've got the left side to do. So, last little bits of ancillary pieces to put together. You are gonna need this plate, which is D. You are gonna need this plate, which is E. You are gonna need one of these control horns. And you are also going to need something called um, a R H and B R H and um, so I'll just temporarily put that in there and stuck it in there right 
BRH. Let me show you where they go. Now there's one other thing. This is B. The A goes onto the main panel, the opposite side of the wing joint. And the idea of this is this is just to give you some strength on the uh, ribs um, when you're doing the covering. Right, so um, E, as we already know, because I've used that as a sanding template, this goes on the top and we're inverting the servos underneath. Now, D does not go on the top like so, it actually goes underneath. And the idea is it pops in there like so. There you go, that's where D goes. So it actually sits there like that. Then you've got your control horn, like so. Now, as mentioned uh, in instructions, I have just given mine the slightest little bit of um, easing here with the round file. It was literally just a couple of licks. And the idea is, is that is gonna sit on there like so. So that's that bit done. And the only other thing that we now have to add is going to be, you've got A is going to sit here interstitially in these ribs and this is B. Right, I've just checked the plans, just checked the drawing. B is actually flat, so that's how it shall look like so. And I'm just going to whip these in place. Um, and I might use, yes, I'm going to use Sino with my new special um, Nick invented fumigator let me show here's my new product right okay so the D plate is in with the horn. I'm gonna put that away somewhere safe. Panel B has got the um, servo plate. We put this filler in. It's gonna go somewhere safe. Now, one final thing we're gonna do just with the, na the main panel for the spoilers. <coughs> you need um, two of these, what, let's call them hashtag ones. They're basically the hooks. Um, I've already put my uh, spoiler plate in. Um, this is that filler that goes the other side of um, B. So they're obviously going to match up like so. And then finally, the only thing you have to do is put these two hooks in place. Now, um, I've got mine facing the other way because in theory, I want to use the strong part of the hook. I mean, that is entirely up to you. But I've done mine so the hook faces the other way round in the plans. I prefer this. These are going to get cyanoed in. And I would give you a little tip. Just wick a little bit of cyano, the thin cyano, just into the hooks when they're in place. Just to give it a bit more strength. So that is the wing done. I'm just going to literally wick these up. And we are on to the fuselage. <laughs> So I'll see you in the next episode of the Avanti build, which will be, I mean, obviously we've got some little things like the wing servos covering and stuff like that, but the main portion of the Avanti wing, well, all the right side for video in, it's all right for you, I've got to do the left side now, but at least I know what I'm doing and I'm just going to finish it off. So anyway, thanks for following me and I'll see you very shortly. <laughs> you don't have waffle on sometimes, mate.